Hi kids, how are you all? I hope you all must be fine, right? So today we are going to read for class 4 Mathematics Olympiad. And in class 4 Mathematics Olympiad, the chapter we are going to read, we are going to continue the chapter that is time. So in our previous sessions, we have already discussed some questions of this chapter. And in our today's session, we are going to solve some more questions of this chapter. Okay, so are you all ready for it? Yes, so let's get started. Our first question, what fraction of 1 minute 20 second is 45 second? Okay, so options are A, 9 by 26, B, 3 by 4, C, 5 by 12, D, 9 by 16. So in the question it is given, what fraction of 1 minute 20 second is 45 second? Okay, so 1 minute 20 second. Let us convert um, totally into the second. So you know 1 minute that is 60 second plus 20 second that is equal to 80 second. Now we have to find out how, uh, what is the fraction okay between 45 second and 80 second. So 45 and 80 so we can can cancel it with 5 right. It will be 5 9 to 45 and here it will be 16. So, the answer is 9 by 16 and it is present in option D. So, the correct answer is option D that is 9 by 16. Got it? Coming to the next question. How many days are there in a year? Okay. Option A 364, B 366, C 365, D either B or C. So, in the question it is asked how many days are there in a year? Okay. So, what do you think? Yes, we all know in a year 365 days are there. Right? So, yes. Wait. So, you know about the leap year. In the leap year, uh, that uh, February month, it is having 29 days instead of 28. Right? And in the leap year, uh, the total days in that year is 366 days. So, in a year, it may be 365 days or, in, or 366 days. Got it? So, correct answer is option D, either B or C, right? Coming to next question, how many days are there from 9th February 2004 to 28th March 2004? Option A, 45, B, 38, C, 40, D, 41. In the question, it is given how many days are there from 9th February 2004 to 28th March 2004? First thing, uh, in the 2004, it is divisible by 4, right? So, as it is divisible by 4, so it is a leap year. It is leap year means this February will contain 29 days, right? So, first we will find uh, the 9th February 2004 to 29th February 2004, okay? So, how many days uh, it is? Then again, 1st March 2004 to 28th March 2004. So, 9 February to 29 February, how many days are there? That is 29 minus 9 plus 1. Why plus 1? Because we are including the first date also. Right? Yes. So That will be 20 plus 1 equal to 20 one days and first March to 20th March it is directly 20 days. So what is the total number of days that is 21 plus 20 that is equal to 41 days. Okay. So correct answer is option D that is 41 days. Coming to next question. At what time does the hour hand point between digit 1 and 2 and the minute hand at 6? Option A, 1.30 a.m. or p.m. B, 2.30 a.m. or p.m. C, 6.5 a.m. or p.m. D, 6.10 a.m. or p.m. So, in the question it is asked at what time does the hour hand points between digit 1 and 2 and the minute hand at 6. Minute hand at 6 means it should be 30. Right, the minute should be 30. And uh, hour hand between 1 and 2, so it will be 1. Yes, we know as the time proceeds, our hand also moves. Okay, so it is 1.30. 1.30 means it may be AM and it may be PM as well. Right? Yes. <coughs> so the correct answer is option A. That is 1.30 AM or PM. But it? 
Coming to the next question. In the year 2005, Maya's age was a multiple of 6. In year 2009, her age was a multiple of 11. Which of the following is the best guess for Maya's age in the year 2009? Option A, 11 years old. B, 22 years old. C, 23 years old. D, 44 years old. So, in the question it is given, in the year 2005, the age was multiple of 6. In the year 2009, age was multiple of 11. Um, we are guessing for Maya says in year 2009. That means uh, this would be multiple of 11. Okay. So, sometimes what we need to do, we cannot solve the question to find the answer. Okay. Sometimes we need to try the option to find the correct option. Get it? Yes. So, 11 years old. So, if in 2009 it is 11 years old. Okay. Yes. In 2009, 11 years old. It is multiple of 11. Yes, correct. So, uh, in 2009, it is 11. So, in 2005, 2009 minus 2005 means 4 years gap is there. Okay. So, 4 years gap means it will be 7. 7, is it a multiple of 6? No. No. 22 years old at 2009, it is multiple of 11. And before 4 years, it will be uh, how much before uh, <coughs> 4 years? 18. Right. 18 is a multiple of 6. So, it can be the answer. 33 in 2009, it is multiple of 6. Yes. Before 4 years, it will be 29. Is it multiple of 6? No. Next, 44 in 2009. Is it multiple of 11? Yes. Before 4 years, it will be 40. Is it multiple of 6? No. So, which one is the correct answer? It is option B, that is 22 years. Got it? Coming to the next question. The cricket match started at 8 p.m. Each half was 45 minutes. What time did the first half end? Option A, 8.45 p.m. B, 9.30 p.m. C, 8.35 p.m. D, 9.05 p.m. So, in the question it is given, the cricket match started at 8 p.m. Okay. And each half was 45 minutes. You know in cricket match two halves are there. First half and second half. Yes. But it is asking us about the time when first half ends. So, if it starts at 8 p.m. And when the first half ends, that is after 45 minutes. What will be the time? Yes. It is very simple. It is 800. Sorry. 8.45 p.m. Got it? So, correct answer is option A, that is 8.45 p.m. Coming to the next question, which of the following is not true? Option A, 7 o'clock in the morning is 7 a.m. B, 6.45 in the evening is 6.45 p.m. C, half past 9 at night is 9.30 p.m. And D, 12 noon is 12 a.m. So, we have to find which of the following is not true. Okay. Uh, you know that uh, night Okay. Night 12 to noon Okay. Night means midnight 12 to noon 12 up to that Okay, so we call it as a and the opposite that is from 12 to midnight 12, it is p.m. Okay, so yes, now uh, what we need to answer. 7 o'clock in the morning is 7 a.m. Yes, it is correct. 6.45 in the evening is 6.45 p.m. Yes, it is also correct. Then half past 9 at 9 is 9.30 p.m. Yes, 12 noon is 12 a.m. No, it is not 12 a.m. It is 12 p.m. Okay, if we take 12 a.m. then it will be the midnight one. Okay, yes. So, here the correct answer is option D. Coming to the next question. 
how many minutes are there in a day option a 720 b 1440 c 1540 d 420 so in the question it is asked how many minutes are there in a day so in one day how many hours are there 24 hours right yes and in one hour how many minutes are there that is 60 minutes we have to find out in 24 hours how many minutes are there 24 into 60 that is equal to 1440 minutes okay so correct answer is option b coming to the next question how many weeks are there in 147 days option a 27 b 21 c 23 d 22 so, in the question it is asked, how many weeks are there in 147 days? Okay, so 7 days make 1 week, right? Yes, so 147 days it will make 147 divided by 7 is equal to 21 weeks, right? So, correct answer is option B, that is 21. Coming to the next question, how many months in a year have 31 days? Option A, 8, B, 6, C, 7, D, 9. So, in the question it is asked, how many months in a year have 31 days? Which are the months having 31 days? Can you tell me? January, then February, no, March, yes, April, no, May, yes, June, no, July, yes. August, yes. September, no. October, yes. November, no. December, yes. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many months are there? Yes, it is 7. So, correct answer is option C, 37. But it? Yes. So, this much for today's session. Let's meet you in the next session. Till then, read mindfully. Practice all the questions properly. Okay. So, meet you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.